we're gonna go over the top 10 WordPress hosting companies one by one and talk about the pros and the cons for every single one of these companies, which means by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly which company you should go with to host your WordPress website. And as a bonus, I have special discounted pricing for all of these companies. I have the hookup, there's links down below in the description that'll get you discounts on your WordPress hosting, no matter which company you go with. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna share which one of these companies I actually recommend that you go with for your WordPress hosting. And warning, only three of these companies are actually recommended as a host by WordPress themselves. So make sure to like this video because I spent a lot of time testing out all these different companies so that I can tell you which one is the best one. And let's get started first with SiteGround. And the first pro for SiteGround is they're actually one of the three companies that's recommended by WordPress themselves as a recommended host. The second pro is it's very easy to set up a WordPress or a WooCommerce website using SiteGround as your host. I've done a number of tutorials on this channel showing you how you can set up your WordPress website site in as little as four minutes. They also have very affordable pricing, though they are not the most affordable. Hostinger, who I'll be talking about later in this video, is actually the most affordable host and they're really high quality as well. SiteGround is also very reliable and they have fast servers. And if you sign up with SiteGround, you also get a free SSL certificate. And an SSL certificate will make sure that all communications that happen via your website are secure. You especially need an SSL certificate if you're planning on taking credit card payments or having passwords or doing anything that there needs to be protection for your users. And some hosting companies will actually charge you for an SSL certificate, but SiteGround will give you this for free. As far as cons for SiteGround, their pricing is mid-tier, though recently they did lower their prices a little bit, but normally their prices are quite a bit higher. Another huge con with SiteGround is they have pretty low plan limits. With their lowest plan, you can only have one website, you only get 10 gigabytes of web space, and you're only allowed 10,000 monthly visits. Which means if you're planning on uploading a lot of images and videos to your website, SiteGround might not be the best option. They also have high renewal fees. SiteGround is also not available in every country. It's not available in India, for instance. And SiteGround used to be my favorite hosting company, but I recently changed who I would recommend as my favorite hosting company. And I'm gonna be sharing who that is later in this video. And throughout this video, I'll be explaining some terms like bandwidth, uptime, and page speed, and why they're so important that you know before you pay for hosting for the first time. The second hosting company we'll be talking about is Bluehost. And Bluehost is also recommended by WordPress themselves. And it's also probably one of the most popular hosting companies. And because of that, it's one of the most trusted hosting companies out there. In fact, the first time I ever purchased hosting, I purchased it from Bluehost. But if I were to purchase WordPress hosting again today, knowing everything that I know, I would not choose Bluehost. And I'll get to why that is in just a minute, but they do have relatively cheap plans. And part of the reason why they have, and they're able to offer such cheap plans, is they go around and they buy smaller hosting companies and they aggregate them into this giant conglomerate of a company. But the biggest problem with Bluehost is I actually think that they're overpriced. I've had a ton of issues using Bluehost in the past, including really slow page speed. And page speed is how fast your website loads when someone goes to your website. In the past, when people would go to my website, it would take them five, six, seven seconds before my website would actually load up. And that might not seem like a long time, but if someone goes to your website and it's not loading after a few seconds, a lot of times they'll just leave your website and go on to do something else instead. And this could cause lost sales and people never coming back to your website. In addition to that, they have bad uptime. And uptime is what percentage of the time is your website actually available? And no hosting company has a 100% uptime. Almost all companies have issues every once in a while, but most uptime is around 99.99%. With Bluehost, I've personally had a ton of issues with uptime. People will go to my website and it's not working, which again has lost me thousands upon thousands of dollars in sales. And one of the biggest cons with Bluehost that nobody talks about is the reason they got so popular is because they were one of the first hosting companies Companies to offer an affiliate program. This is where people would create websites promoting Bluehost. And this made it so that people would favor Bluehost over the other companies that were better. Nowadays, pretty much every hosting company out there has an affiliate program. And to make this video 100% unbiased, I actually signed up for the affiliate program for all of these hosting companies. So I don't care which one you use. I do, as I mentioned, have discounted pricing for all these hosting companies if you use the links in the description down below. The third company we're going to review is GoDaddy. And 
there's not a lot of pros with GoDaddy. I really don't recommend using them. And the one pro that I could think of is they do have phone support, but there are a lot of cons. First off, they are overpriced. GoDaddy spends a ton of money on marketing, getting people to buy the domain name. And their domain names are actually relatively affordably priced. But the way they make money is by upselling people like you to buy not just the domain name from them, but also the hosting and all kinds of extra features that you don't need. The plans and the pricing don't really make sense and the user interface to creating a website is confusing to say the least and on top of all of that support can actually be really rude and i know a lot of people that have had bad experiences with godaddy support a2 hosting is one of the fastest hosting providers so if you want a website that's going to be really fast a2 hosting is a good option they also have decent pricing for the kind of speeds that they're offering however for cons they have relatively poor uptime they're still at around 99.96 percent which sounds good but there's other companies out there that are a lot better and part of the reason why i don't recommend them is they actually got hacked a few years back and it seems like they never fully recovered from that hack. The back end of A2 hosting can also be relatively confusing and it's not the most beginner friendly hosting company to start your first website. HostGator is another popular WordPress hosting website. They have good customer service and relatively affordable prices but here's a dirty little secret about HostGator. They're actually owned by the same parent company that owns Bluehost and since HostGator is usually a little bit more expensive than Bluehost and they offer relatively the same plans, I don't see any reason to go with HostGator over Bluehost. Now, sometimes the prices of HostGator are cheaper and sometimes Bluehost is cheaper. I'd say if you're deciding between these two, just go with whoever has the cheaper prices. WP Engine is fast, reliable, it has great customer support, and overall, it's probably the most professional and arguably the best hosting company out there except for it is 10 times the price of all the other hosting companies. Overall, it's really a great host. If you don't wanna get involved at all in the technical things, you want great customer support, if you have a lot of money and you don't wanna deal with any kind of issues, WP Engine could be a good option for you, but I personally would not recommend them because I think they're overpriced. InMotion is another popular hosting company, but I couldn't really find a lot of pros for them. They do have good speed and good uptime, but compared to a lot of hosting companies out there, they're just more expensive and you don't get anything extra for that extra money you're spending. InMotion is also one of the slower hosting providers out there. Just two more hosting companies left, including Hostinger, which I think is the most affordable company out there. But before we get to that, let's talk about DreamHost. And DreamHost is the third company that's recommended by World WordPress themselves. But other than that, I don't see any advantages for going with DreamHost. They're more expensive, slower, and less reliable than most of the other companies we've talked about so far. They also have poor uptime, and the prices continue to go up despite the fact that their service isn't great. And that brings us to Hostinger, which is the most affordable hosting option out there. And I do have the hookup with them. They gave me a coupon code. If you use Travis at checkout, you get an extra 10% off, which makes it so that Hostinger costs just a little over $2 per month. But the crazy Crazy thing about this company is they're actually pretty good. They're fast, reliable, and they have an easy one-click setup for setting up your WordPress or WooCommerce website. It's so easy to create a website with them that I was able to create a website in just a few minutes. They also operate pretty much all over the world and they offer services in 40 different languages. But there are some cons with Hostinger. First off, they don't offer phone support. So if that is something that's important to you, Hostinger is probably not the right option. The back end can also be a a little bit glitchy. They have their own patented H panel, and for the most part, it works really well, but sometimes you might run into issues. One other thing to note is they have a relatively high renewal fee. So I recommend signing up for a longer term plan because after your plan is over, you're gonna have to start paying that higher renewal fee. And for the winner and which hosting company you should go with, it really depends on what you want. If you want the fastest hosting company, I would go with A2 Hosting. If you want the most reliable hosting company, go with WP Engine. But when it comes to best overall hosting company, it comes down to between these two companies, SiteGround and Hostinger. And Hostinger wins for the best hosting company because they allow you to store 100 gigabytes of data. You can create 100 different websites, even with their cheapest plan, you also get a free domain name, free email, and unlimited free SSLs. But I will share that one of the big cons with Hostinger is they're constantly increasing their pricing. When I first found out about them, it was only 99 cents a month. Now it's 
it's over $2 a month. So if you do want to create your own WordPress website, I'll put a link down below to all the different hosts. Again, I recommend going with Hostinger. You can use coupon code Travis to get an extra 10% off. So click on the link, start your WordPress website today, and I guarantee you're going to be so happy that you did.